you make the difficult decision to go no contact with a narcissistic person, they go into lots of different psychological mind games in order to gain some form of reaction or attention from you. Going no contact is not an easy choice or decision that should be taken lightly. It requires courage, resilience and a gradual recognition of one's self-worth. It is an intentional and a deliberate choice to completely disconnect from narcissistic people who drain you physically, emotionally and financially. No contact is severing all ties to them, cutting off all forms of communication or contact with them. When you've exhausted all other avenues of trying to save a relationship with your parent, with your childhood friend, with a family member, with a partner, when you've tried to resolve things, when you've tried communication, when you've tried enforcing boundaries, when you've even tried therapy and nothing's worked that you can think of, no contact is to protect yourself from further harm by them. It can seem a drastic measure, however it is there to protect yourself. Only narcissistic people who thrive on attention and don't like rejection don't take too kindly to people going no contact on them and they have a natural ability to get a whiff of when somebody might be doing this and this is when they can usually come back with the hoover where they're going to shower you with love bombing again and try and send you gifts to try and get you to reach out to them. They might call you from withheld numbers and they might come at you with promises of change they might you if you block them they'll get a different phone to contact you on promising change promising to go to counseling they might suddenly come at you and say i'm sorry i know you don't want to speak to me however there's some sort of an emergency some sort of health issue come up to guilt trip you into contacting them again all those things that they once promised to you and neglected to deliver on they'll suddenly want to do all those things with you they'll want you to reminisce about the good times they will go all out to try and communicate with you they might just claim that they're leaving town and can you just meet up for one last coffee just to get everything off each other's chest and they're just wanting to manipulate you back into the situation if that doesn't work, they can potentially go all out to provoke some form of negative reaction from you, which will help them in their smear campaign against you. And they're going to smear your name in the hopes that you go begging for them to stop, which isn't going to work because they're gaining that attention from you. Also, by smearing your name, they can get other people to look poorly on you and attack you. Abuse by proxy in which case if you have children with them they will weaponize these children by taking you through so many different court processes to gain access to the children that they had no interest in no interest in prior to you trying to cut contact with them they will go all out to stalk you they will drive past your home they will turn up at your work they will send you unwanted gifts they will turn up at your hobbies and this naturally puts you on edge and not at ease and the narcissist turns up with all their charismatic charm that those around you can't see what your issue is you're the one that looks like you're the problem and a narcissist will be telling everyone that you're crazy and you're depressed and you're obsessed with them and that's why you're acting in that way narcissistic people move on to new sources of of supply very quickly because they're looking for that attention. However, they will happily flaunt that new supply in front of your face to try and gain some sort of reaction, to claim that you're jealous of the situation because after all, narcissistic people want to prove that they're so good at holding down a relationship that they have to move straight on from one to the next to the next. They might leave their belongings behind, belongings they're not interested in. Uh, so you try and contact them to get them to collect them or they might keep a hold of your sentimental items so that you have to contact them and then you have the unfortunate task of involving the third person to either pass their belongings or get your belongings back. They might, when they've tried all avenues to get some sort of rise out of you, they might just up and leave and fall silent on you, which is the best outcome they'll still be telling everyone how you're the problem how you ruined their life how everything is your fault however they will fall silent on you as a punishment to you and so that they can believe that they're in control of the situation that they don't want anything to do with you anymore